Reigns and his collaborators proposed to dig a 150 foot deep, 10 feet in diameter shaft, 40 meters from ground zero. The bottom of the shaft was to be filled by a 75 meter long vacuum tank and El Monstro would be suspended from the top of that tank. The top half of the shaft would then be backfilled to the surface. As detonation approached, the vacuum pumps would be powered up and would evacuate almost all the air from the vacuum tube. When the countdown reached zero, the connection suspending El Monstro was to be severed with a small explosion. For around two seconds, the detector would fall freely through the vacuum, seeing the bright pulse of neutrinos from the firestorm above and recording any electronic pulses revealing their interactions with the falling detector. The earth and vacuum tube would shake violently around the detector as the blast wave passed, but El Monstro would fall serenely, undisturbed by the surrounding devastation. After the initial blast had passed, the detector would reach the bottom of the tank and land gently on a thick pile of foam rubber and feathers. Rains noted, we would return to the site of the shaft in a few days when the surface radioactivity had died away sufficiently and dig down to the tank, recover the detector and learn the truth about neutrinos. For more, be scientific and bad and find me over on YouTube.